Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Sharp Scientific Calculator ELW516X, 516T, 506T uh, scientific calculator to do uh, to calculate the matrix uh, to do addition, subtraction, multiplication of matrix, matrix determinant, matrix inverse, matrix row echelon form and convert it to reduce row echelon form and then also do some other calculation. So let's get started. Let's say we have uh, to do the calculation with this uh, calculator, you have to store the matrix into the memory and then do the operation on memory. And let's say this, ma this matrix is now called matrix A, which is a three dimension matrix, three by three. So I'm pressing mode and then go down for matrix, press five, I'm pressing five. Now on the screen it shows matrix mode. In this calculator you just press home and you exit very easily. So mode and then five. Now to, okay, so to store this uh, in, in the memory, press mat and select one which is editor. And then here you select the dimension, the cursor is on the first one, so press 3, so it becomes to 3. Now it goes to the column, the first one was the row, and then column again 3. So now the area becomes 3 by 3, press equal sign, so the cursor moves here. So we enter 7 and then 4 and then 5, so we enter I column by column and we go row by row. So this row first and then second row, so third row. Every item is entered by pressing equal sign. So press 7, equal, the cursor moves, 4, and then equal, and then 5, equal. You see the cursor moves to the next line. Now 2, 3, 0, 2, equal, 3, equal, 0, equal, and then the next line, 8, 1, 9, 8, equal, 1, equal, 9, equal. Once you have the matrix on the screen ready and finished, now at this stage, you can press mat, sorry, press clear, you, you exit it. Now press mat, and then three, store. Here it asks in which uh, matrix, so I'm pressing matrix zero, matrix A, which is zero. Now it says stored. You don't see anything. To bring a matrix back and do some calculation, or simply just see it, press mat and matrix, press zero and then whichever matrix you want. In this case, we want to bring zero. So now press equal sign. So you will see the matrix on the screen. So now I'm pressing clear. The matrix is there. Now let's enter matrix B because we want to do some calculation. Again, press math and then one editor. And then here it, this is three by three. So three, now go to the line. So minus one, five, two, six. For the minus, I'm pressing this minus. So minus one, five, minus one, equal five, equal, and then 26, equal. The cursor moves to the next line. Three, 14, nine. Three, 14, nine. And then zero, four, eight, last line, zero, four, and then eight all clear, press mat, and then three, store. Now we want to store this in B, for B press one. Store, let's recall it, make sure it's there, mat, zero, for B press one. So you see the value. So now let's do A plus B, so matrix, zero, and then bring matrix A, zero, and then plus, now let's bring matrix B, again mat 0, 1. So this mat A, matrix A plus matrix B, equal sign, so that's the value. Let's do matrix A times B, clear, 0, and then 0, and then 0, and then, sorry, uh, B, mat 0, 1 for matrix B times mat zero zero so that's matrix a so that's a multiplication so each value is multiplied so you want to store this in a memory and multiply it by two so 
press this matrix is here so the matrix answer is already there so you can do matrix and then store and then let's say put it in C number two now it's stored let's just check if it's there for C plus two you see all the values were multiplied because that was big so now it was just for test but you can do directly math and then zero and then two and then times two so when you multiply a matrix by two each value in each row or column is scaled or multiplied by two so now we are just we did that so now let's find the determinant of a to do the determinant press math and then determinant which is number four and then recall the matrix so matrix zero and then for a plus zero so that's the determinant of matrix a press equal sign determinant is a number so that's the answer and then let's say you want to do the inverse of a matrix just bring all clear matrix and then zero and then zero now for the inverse you can do the to the power negative one so this will work press equal sign and that is the inverse the inverse this is a fraction and then you see we can move our cursor to each cell and see it so let's say transpose of a matrix so go to my uh, matrix and press 5 for transpose and then bring the matrix let's say a and then um, zero matrix and zero so that's transpose matrix a so this is all the row transfer to column and column to row now we know if we have matrix multiplied by inverse of a matrix will give you identity which is a diagonal one let's test that uh, we are getting matrix a so that's matrix a multiplied by inverse of matrix a so uh, math zero and then zero inverse so I'm not putting any multiplication here so you see this gives minus 1 to the power times 10 to the power minus 12 which is very small value close to 0 so that is diagonal and let's say you want to get the rho echelon form of matrix A press this math uh, and then go down you see here ref so press a now this a is a b c d now press a rho echelon form and bring matrix i'm pressing math and then zero for matrix and then zero matrix a close it so this is rho echelon form now for reduce rho echelon form r r e f we do the same go here for that we can press b and then bring your matrix this time I'm gonna bring B 0 1 this is the reduce row echelon form of my matrix so we have some other feature for example if I press math go down we can select some identity matrix six you can say two by two just put two so it will create two by two if you want to do three by three uh, let me go identity which is six and then let's say three by three this calculator can do up to four by four matrix so you can do four by four matrix calculation thank you for watching please thumb up the video and also share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i appreciate it